And welcome to the friendly confines of Craven Cottage in West London. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Fulham up against West Bromwich Albion. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. Well, you certainly can't underplay how proficient the home side are in front of goal. Just look at the record. Best in the league, Stuart. Well, their forwards should be full of confidence. They've been in fantastic form of late, and it bodes well for the neutrals today. Hopefully, we're in for an entertaining match. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And here's the starting 11 for West Bromwich Albion. Well, I like the look of their front three today. It has a combination of pace, skill and intelligence. But will they get enough of the ball? Because their midfield could be overrun here. And the match begins. Promising sequence. Darnell Furlong. The defender doing his job. And he stopped them in their tracks. Robinson. A really intense pressure applied. It's still alive. And he gobbles up the second chance. Disappointment for the keeper. No wonder he's asking questions of his defence. Well, here's the replay, and this is what you're always told as a kid. Go for the far post, make it difficult for the keeper, and then hope your teammate is ready for any rebound. He does exactly that, and they get their reward. What a good goal that was. Sebi Alexander Mitrovic it's a weighted pass now well, they've given him too much space Mitrovic Diangana Mowat and a fine tackle the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Free kick needed to be a lot better than that. Straight into the wall. Using his physical strength to shield it. Ajay. Adam Reach. On the ball, Livermore. Callum Robinson. Just not looking confident in possession. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. 
Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Chalabar, what's he going to do? And you can sense the threat is there. Offside, a tight one. Beautifully disguised ball, and it all counts for naught. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Promising attack, this. Shot attempted, and a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So back underway following the equaliser. Did well to win the ball back. Sebi. Robinson. And Reed with it. Good movement. Wilson. Not troubling the keeper. Livermore Grady Diangana on the ball Livermore keeping it moving dynamically takes aim still possibilities and problem solved for now well they might be piling on the pressure but they've oh it might be Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Who can he pick out? Not too fussy in clearing his lines. We are going to have two additional minutes. Chalaba. Getting in there to intercept. This looks threatening. And nearly the ideal ball, but a good piece of defending. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Sebi. And Reed with it. Good use of advantage by the referee. On to Sebi. Delightful pass. That's not a bad ball. And clears his lines. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Careless in possession. Diangana. 
It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. Substitution for West Bromwich Albion. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Greg Diangana. To be replaced by number 23, Robert Snodgrass. Thumps clear. Shalaba. Now with Mitrovic. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. Coming off the pitch. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Robert Snodgrass. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Oh, big opportunity! And the keeper will happily collect that one. Goal from the keeper, and they'll come again. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. And the referee says corner kick. And the substitution will occur now. Coming off the pitch, number eight, Jake Livermore, to be replaced by number 14, Jason Malumbi. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, not quite accurate enough. Well, his movement was good, he attacked it well, but he just got underneath it. Substitution time it is here. Now what can they do from here? Terrific block. Got to be advised giving the ball away in that position. Cross blocked. Could be a chance to break here. On the mark. Mitrovic. Can he put it in? On the mark. A routine save. Playing with purpose and control. But quick thinking defensively. Well, time is running out to get this winner. But the fans certainly believe it's coming. Just listen to the noise. What a fantastic finish we could have here. Good work to win the ball back high up the pitch. Excellent defending. Sebi. Five minutes remaining and level pegging here. Still pushing for a winner. On the mark. And offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Oh, 
Over the touchline for a throw in. Sebi. Furlong. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Hugo. Hugo. Can they forge ahead? No! And all because of the goalkeeper. Margins, margins. Well, he has done well there, but he should have won the game. They probably won't get another chance now. And over it comes. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two.